Hi, I'm Peter Travers, a movie critic for Rolling Stone, and it's fall now. That means the fall season has begun, there's real movies, not these tired-ass Nick Cage movies like Bangkok Dangerous that just drag on and make the summer seem to never die. No, this is the season. So there's three movies now. One of them is really worth paying attention to, but I've got to mention right away Al Pacino and Robert De Niro themselves. I happen to have them right here. See, here they are, special guests on today's show. Righteous Kill, uh, a cop movie, and I would call it a paycheck movie. It looks like Pacino and De Niro were told that they can have a few weeks' work, make a lot of money, and they're going to do a cop movie where they're both NYPD cops trying to track a serial killer who only kills scumbags that the courts let off. Where have we heard that before? It's like every other episode of Law and Order. The fact that these two actors are doing that just makes me sad, sad, sad. You wanna go? Go ahead. Uh, no, not me. Then there's an epic dud called The Women, which was made into a movie in 1939. It's all about women. There are no men in it. Men get talked about. It's got Meg Ryan in it. It has got Bette Midler in it. It's got Deborah Messing in it, Candace Bergen, Ava Mendez. It stinks. What can I say to you? They just talk, talk, talk. They're hoping to pick up on that Sex in the City buzz that happened this summer and made a success because Sarah Jessica Parker actually did it right. It seemed to exist in a real world. This exists in some other world. I don't know what it is. You don't need to know what it is. So what's the movie? Ta-da. Burn After Reading. The Cone Brothers are back. Now, you all know the Cone Brothers this year won the Oscar for No Country for Old Men. Very sober, serious movie. Whenever they do that kind of movie, they make something nuts. They make something psycho crazy as soon as it, because they can't bear to be taken seriously. So here they got Brad Pitt together with George Clooney, together with Francis McDormand, John Malkovich, everybody together to make a movie about intense stupidity. This is a movie set in Washington, D.C. Clooney is a marshal, and John Malkovich plays a guy fired from the CIA who decides to write his memoirs and puts it on a disc, leaves it at the gym, the Hard Bodies gym, in which Brad Pitt works with Francis McDormand. They try to blackmail him and blackmail the Russian embassy. That's it. What's the point of the movie? The point is that everybody is stupid. Everybody is incredibly insane. I have never liked Brad Pitt as much in a movie as I like him in this because he seems to take to the stupidity as if it's the role he was always working for. There are scenes of him sitting in a car with his earbuds on, just rocking back and forth to something we don't hear, where he's hysterically funny. Clooney likes playing a jerk. Malkovich is amazing playing the CIA guy, the only one who takes anything seriously in life. McDormand is a woman who only wants to have plastic surgery so she can reinvent herself in a life. Is this a cynical view of America and Americans? Oh, you betcha it is. Is it on par with the great Coen Brothers movies like Fargo, like No Country, like The Big Lebowski? Uh-uh. But you know what? Middling Coen Brothers, them just not actually even trying but just being okay is better than most of the crap that's out there right now, including Righteous Kill and The Women. So when you say to yourself, I'm going to the movies this weekend, you only have one choice, and that choice is burn after reading. I'm Peter Travers.